There are different ways of serving God, but it is the same Lord who is served. God works through each person in a unique way, but it is God's purpose that it is accomplished. To each is given a gift of the Spirit to be used for the common good. Together, we are the body of Christ, and individually, we are members of it. We are all called into the church of Jesus Christ by baptism and marked as Christ's own by the Holy Spirit. This is our common calling, to be disciples and servants of our Lord. Within the community of this church, some are called to particular service as elders, as ministers of the word, assuring that his ministry continues among us. Ordination is Christ's gift to the church, providing for the ministries of caring and compassion in the world and ordaining, ordering the governance of the church and preaching the word and administering the sacrament. Representing the one holy Catholic and Episcopal Church, the session of Mayfield Central Presbyterian Church now ordains Deb Hall for active service as an elder and affirms that Crystal Hinkle be installed as ruling elder for three years and Laura Bellheim be reinstalled for a second term, <coughs> for a second third year term serving as a ruling elder. Ordination calls for the whole church to be renewed in commitment and reminds us all to bear gladly the yoke of Christ given in the covenant of baptism. And so let us now reaffirm our baptismal vows, renouncing all that opposes God and God's rule and affirming the faith of the Holy Catholic Church. Trusting in the gracious mercies of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior, trusting in his grace and love? I do. Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love? And now, with the whole church, let us stand and affirm our faith using the affirmation printed in your bulletin. This is the good news which we have received, in which we stand, and by which we are saved, if we hold it fast, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, and that he appeared first to the women, then to Peter, and to the twelve, and then to many faithful witnesses. We believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus Christ is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is our Lord and our God. Amen. And will you now join me at the baptismal font? Eternal God, we give you thanks. In countless ways you've revealed yourself in ages past and have blessed us with the signs of your grace. We praise you that through the waters of the sea you led your people of Israel out of bondage into freedom into the land of your promise. We praise you for sending Jesus your son, who for us was baptized in the water of the Jordan and was anointed as the Christ by your Holy Spirit. Through the baptism of, of his death, through and resurrection, you set us free from bondage of sin and death and give us cleansing and rebirth. We praise you that in baptism, you give us your Holy Spirit, who teaches us and leads us into all truth, filling us with a variety of gifts, and that we proclaim the gospel to all nations and serve you as a royal priesthood. <laughs> 